Do you have the top stitching blues? Does your top stitching look something like this, but you really want it to look like this? I can show you how to do that. In fact, you already have the right tools. You just didn't know you had them. This foot right here, this is the S foot. Now I know you're thinking it's the stitch in the ditch foot, right? Well, yes it is, but S doesn't just stand for stitch in the ditch. It stands for top stitching. Whatever, this is your top stitching foot. Who cares about the letters? You see this little guide right here? This really awesome guide in the center? I'm gonna take you over to my machine and show you how to take your top stitching from terrible to terrific. Come on, let's go. I'm working on my Skyline S9. I have my foot in place. I'm going to go over to stitch number four. Right here, it's at 0.5. I can move it over more, but I'm gonna leave it. And my stitch length, I like to go up. So I'm gonna go up to 3.5. I have a little handle right here, and I have some contrasting thread so you can see. What I'm gonna do is slip this right underneath my foot. I'm running my handle right up against this guide. And now watch the magic happen. My handle is complete with the most perfect, beautiful eighth inch top stitching you're ever going to see. If you're not using your S foot for top stitching, what are you even doing?